So, how are you? I'm fine, ma'am. How are you? I'm also good. So, congratulations on your result. Thank you, ma'am. Relaxed? Yeah, I'm feeling very relaxed and content now. Good. So, what are your plans now? Which college are you aiming to join now? So, my priority is IIT Delhi. And so, in the first round, I got into IIT Rookie. So, I'm still waiting for the next few rounds. So, yeah. Okay. So go ahead, Kanak. Tell you, tell us about your journey. When did you begin the preparation? And you know what would be your comments for the junior? So I actually started uh, my preparation a bit late. I think I started around the end of August, and so I took Artha Points co coaching around uh, late August. So I already knew that I'm a little lagging and I'm behind. So I made sure that I completed microeconomics macroeconomics and mathematics first because I knew they were very heavy subjects and you had also mentioned in your classes that we should focus on microeconomics first so till I gave myself a deadline of 31st December and till 31st December I only did all the classes and all the videos I completed and I started with the assumption that I know nothing about economics so I started from the basics and then I went on to intermediates even if I had a slight idea about the subjects I made sure that I watched each and every subject so my bases were clear that way good so did you also have a look at basic and intermediate video lectures or you only did the advanced video lectures no 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 I started from the basics I made sure that I start I cleared my basics first and then I went on to advanced subjects so that it was also personally I did not want to feel disheartened so I started with the basics and then I went on to intermediate subjects and then advanced. Got it. So, uh, you know, did you give all the mock papers also? How were you performing in the mocks? So uh, till December, I completed my subject. And from January, I started all the mock exams. And initially, I was doing terrible. I, I felt like my four months of preparation, they were all down the drain because I felt this, the, all the mock exams were so difficult. But then I realized that it's good that I find it difficult right now so that I can perform better in exams. So initially, I was doing really bad. And I first focused on IIT jam mocks. So, and, and you also said that you had made them a little difficult. But later on, I... I realized that it's for the better. And when I started doing them a little more diligently, and after every mock, I used to sit down and analyze what uh, where I went wrong. Like, was it microeconomics? Or was it a retention problem? Or was it just silly calculation mistakes? So I made sure I analyzed my result after each and every mock exam. And that really helped me. So, you know, that is something that I always tell, that I have prepared mocks in a way which you know, is difficult so that when you appear in the actual exam, you feel more motivated that we have passed the difficult part. So it is now easier for us to kind of give this exam. Uh, exactly. This when I appeared for IIT jam, I realized, oh, this is so much easier. <laughs> True. Exam. So yeah. I was very calm during the exam. Right. Yes. This time, luckily, the exam was even better. But, you know, we as teachers, we think that the exam should not be easy. When it is easy, competition increases because everyone starts scoring. So, you know, for you to get in becomes even more difficult. So, when you get in, in an easy exam, it is more commendable than when you get in a tough exam. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, Kanak, how many rounds of revision did you give? And uh, what do you suggest juniors should be giving? <laughs> so, um, my main problem uh, initially uh, was revision because... Uh, I don't find revision interesting. I don't think a lot of people do actually find revision interesting. So what I did was instead of doing one complete revision every month, I tried to revise every week, whatever I had done throughout the week. And then uh, one month later, I used to do complete revision from the beginning. So it really helped me. It also made me less scared of the material that I was studying. So I would say continuous revision and like weekly revision really helped me. It also increased my retention capacity, which was a problem for me. And what about DPPs? Did you give all the DPPs? Uh, I could not give all the DPPs because I had started a little bit late. But I tried to uh, do everything at my own pace. Hmm. So that really helped me. But I tried to give as many DPPs as possible. So, Kanak, 
you know, since many of the students, they join in their third year and they also have their college going on and then their semester exams and internal assignments. How do you suggest the juniors to cope up that with the preparation for master's entrance? Um, personally, I had taken a drop year, so I am not in a position to say that. But what really helped me was that I, so I start I, when I first started my preparation, I found it a little boring because I was not going to college. I was just staying at home. So I tried to gamify everything that I was doing. So I downloaded a few apps on my phone uh, and I joined random study groups. So uh, I used to see how much uh, I have studied in one complete stretch and I could see others. Like by the time I'd woken up, some people had already studied four to five hours. So it really pushed me. So I tried to gamify everything. And earlier on, I worked on consistency rather than intensity. So later by January, I could study like six to seven hours on a daily basis without getting burnt out. So I would say working on consistency first and then gamification if that helps you. So I worked on that and it really helped me. Right. Actually, I was going to ask you this only that, you know, how to not get demotivated if you take a drop year and how to ensure that because, you know, many students, they take a drop year and initially they are very motivated by, but by the time two, three months pass, you mm -hmm. kind of start losing an interest that, you know, you think probably we should have taken admission at any college we want. So what keeps you motivated to be there throughout the year till you get admission? I actually got into Jamia last year, but I just felt that it was not the right fit for me. So I took a drop year. So the the decision that I took, that first of all really motivated me because if, if I did not get in, it would be entirely my fault. But then I, again, like I said, I tried to gamify every step as much as possible. And then the mock test that you give and the scoreboard, that also really motivated me because I could see people who were studying the same material that I was and they were doing so much better. So that helped. And what I also did was I connected with a few of other friends of mine who were preparing for other exams. And so we became each other's accountability partner, sort of. And we used to stay on video calls like six to seven hours a day. And we used to study together. So that really helped me. I would say making friends who are as much as dedicated as you are, that really helps. Right. And, you know, Many times what happens is, like, for example, when we start a batch in June, a, a student would start on a very high, uh, you know, high speed and completely mm -hmm. motivated. But by the time it's Diwali and, you know, you have this festive season, it takes a dip. I have seen it every year that it takes a dip. The number of students who attend live classes just drop by a huge amount. And then they never come back, you know, because they have missed 10, 12 classes in between during this festive season. They start lagging behind and then they lose the motivation. So how to be motivated during the periods of festivities? During festivities, I would say it is okay to take breaks because you don't get to spend time with your family when you are at college anyway. But what I did was I made a promise to myself during the beginning of my journey that no zero days. Even if I studied for one hour a day, I had to put in the work. So that helped a lot. Like even if you, if like I understand if you can't study four to five hours a day during festivals, especially when you have relatives uh, visiting. But I think one hour is doable completely. So I would say if you continue putting in some work, that really helps. And that's why I also worked on consistency first rather than intensity so that I don't get burnt out by the end when it really matters. Okay. okay, Kanak, I wish you all the very luck for your future ahead. Um, IIT has one of the best faculties there. Many of the Delhi school of, as I always tell, many of the D school faculties have left and joined IIT. Uh, especially in IIT Delhi, one of our maths professor who, who used to teach us in DSC is now in IIT. An excellent professor. So I wish you all the very luck. Keep us informed, keep us in loop wherever you are in life. And when you get placement, when you get placed somewhere, you know, you should be ringing the first call to me and you should be telling me where you're placed. Definitely, ma'am. Like, I am really grateful that I found Point because the question banks, I think they were game changers for me personally. So thank you so much. Thank you. It has taken a lot of my effort to kind of record the question bank. So I, I really hope that, you know, the upcoming batch also finds that useful. 
and it really shows in the quality of the question bank as well thank you thank you panel okay thank you so much take care have a nice uh, you know beautiful next two years enjoy to the fullest and learn to the fullest thank you so much ma'am have a great day bye